Facebook. It is Anthony Ramos from GLAAD, and we are back for the first time in years at the Sundance Film Festival. We are going to be here with all of the celebrities, seeing all of the big movies that everyone's talking about, including Hearts Beat Loud. I am now with the ladies from that movie. This is Kiersey Clemens and Sasha Lane. Ladies, welcome to the GLAAD Ski Resort, I guess we can call it. Thank you. We like it in here. Super cozy. <laughs> this movie is getting tons and tons of buzz. Not only is it getting tons of buzz, it's closing out the festival. So I haven't seen it yet. I know everyone out there has not seen it yet. So give me everything that we need to know about this film because people want to know. Uh, it's about a father. It's a father-daughter, I think, um, movie about uh, Nick Offerman, who plays my dad. Yep. And uh, I'm going away college to pre-med and I fall in love with a beautiful girl named Rose played by Sasha Lane and so we have this summer romance and also in the midst of that I start this band with my dad so it's this thing of things beginning and then obviously they have to end right when they're just getting started and you don't want them to right um, but yeah there's all of these underlying beautiful things that we have within the story that aren't really thrown into your face uh, and it was interesting our director was saying earlier about no matter where you are in America and what your beliefs are and what it is you believe in, the movie is put together in this way that when you watch it, if you're a human with any type of humanity, it's going to warm your heart and it's going to make you look past any type of boundaries that you might have in your mind regarding race or gender or sexuality or anything like that. So yeah, we're really excited. I want to know about Rose. Sasha, tell me about Rose. Rose. Rose is an artist, and she's also a person who falls in love with Sam, who's the main character in Heartbeats Loud. And um, it's just, she just offers this kind of beautiful, just genuine love story in the movie. It's just like a nice love connection. And of course, it has a beginning and it also has an end, but you just get to see it in a very, it's just a natural, just genuine like love and so yeah now i'm sitting here with the two of you and you guys have chemistry i can feel it so tell me when you guys first you know got these parts and you guys first met was it like you guys clicked right away or what was that all like we well we friends. yeah we were actually friends before this film and brett hit me up and was like i'm gonna send the offer to kiersey and i was like i'm gonna text her and it just kind of happened so like playing lovers was pretty easy because we're so connected and we're, we're such close homies. It wasn't so. weird though because I mean if you're friends and then you play lover but I mean you guys are actors. I know you can separate it but. Yeah. She has nice lips. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I agree. I think it makes you more comfortable. Oh sorry. I think it actually makes you more comfortable when it's your friend because you when I whenever I do a scene like a kissing or whatever scene someone else I always have this concern of like such a petty concern of like, I hope you like he or she doesn't actually think I'm like into it for real. Like Not that I'm I don't acting. love making out with yeah. you, but she knows she's my <laughs> own. So it's like this thing of like we can like actually yeah. go for it and then like go eat food. So this is your second time at Sundance. Mm -hmm. Your first time. Sundance is it's you know this place where films that are progressive, that are groundbreaking, that kind of break the rules, that tell these stories that we need, that Glad loves and wants more of. Um, what is it like for you to be a part of this, especially for you be it being your first time? Being my first time to have a film like this, I think it's just so different because it's it has such good representation in it. I mean, we have brown queer women and uh, their relationship, and we have just just all of these things. But it's just such a feel good movie, so it just it feels really nice to be amongst films that are very important. And I feel we have very important. Uh, messages in it as well but it's also just something that's like also here's a smile mm -hmm. and a warm we need that heart today. and you yeah. need that I think everyone needs that just as someone smiles at you on the street you know and it makes your heart feel warm I watch movies as I mean I watch movies to f you know get me to learn about things to feel a certain way but I also watch them t to escape and to have like an a euphoric experience and just kind of go into someone else's world for a second and I think this movie offers just a beautiful tale and mm. you just get to enjoy it and that's so nice to be here for something like that like absolutely I know you're what you're talking about is really important but also like can you go a little rainbow sticker that's what I feel like <laughs> <doing. Aww>. yeah. <laughs> well people are already very passionate about this film Sony has already expressed interest and has come on board to be yeah a partner with you guys I mean that's got to feel pretty good 
Yeah, and we haven't even seen it yet, but you know, <laughs> they know it's that yeah. good. Well, you know, they heard Sasha Lane and Kirsten Clip was really movie, and they were like, you know, that's we got to That's ours. I would do the same thing. There are over this year twenty uh, films that have LGBTQ storylines or characters, which you know, glad we're so excited about. But what I loved about this one was that it seemed very much like when I read the story, you know, the premise of the story, it was. They, it wasn't like a, a tale about two women having a relationship. It was a story, and then when they brought up your character, her girlfriend is played, and I love that because you know we need more people to realize that this is just the natural. norm. This is natural. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Was and that a, like a big part for you guys to want to like take this on? Definitely. I think it's something that we we got a chance to represent just a relationship. It was never once spoken that like by the way, we are in a lesbian relationship and this is like <laughs> the world and like all of that. It's just like, yo, I saw her and I was like, I dig her. <laughs> I dig and it. it just got on and popping from there. And I think that's so like something that's needed because you don't see that often. It always has to be something. It always has to be a statement like, yo, we are in this relationship. Mm -hmm. This is just natural. We loved each other and that was beautiful and we got to spend the summer together and it was great and like we went through it. And it's just we get to show that, we get to represent that, and it's not throwing in your face, it's just like, yo, this is what life is. People do this. People love who they love. I love that, right? We need absolutely more. Okay, I'm gonna wrap up. Okay, what's the one thing that you want anyone out there, whether it be closing night of the Sundance Film Festival or anyone that goes and see this in the theaters, to take away? What do you want them to take away from this whole story between the two of you and obviously Nick Opperman too? I think for me in general, I just want everyone to take away like just Warmth. Mm, yes. Warmth. You just feel like this fire. Good. Like this yeah. fire, yeah. like this <laughs> couch, <laughs> like <laughs> sitting in here and just talking and like being around good people and seeing loving things and just and like some positivity. Just mm -hmm. get some warmth from it. If you leave and you're smiling or you just felt something, that's beautiful and I'm happy for that. Ladies, thank you so much. I can tell you in your party clothes. Go have fun at the Sundance Film Festival. And remember, Hearts Beat Loud is here at the closing night of the Sundance Film Festival. Thank you so much for watching, and make sure to check it out. <laughs>